say that the L.A. River will be treated as a traditionally navigable waterway it may sound like common sense to most of us, but was debatable at the Supreme Court and has been uh, an impediment to doing what we can to making the L.A. River an emerald necklace of parks and open space. When we talk about the environment, we cannot think just about wide open, beautiful spaces. We have to think about a river with a concrete bottom that flows through one of our nation's largest cities. And we want this to be a place where people can walk and bike and picnic and learn again the importance of finding the solitude and solace that comes from being in America's great outdoors. You see, we're gonna designate the entire LA River, not a piece of it, the entire LA River as traditional navigable waters of the United States of America. <laughs> it's clear that environmental issues in the city are just as important, maybe more, important in some ways than they are anywhere in this country. When I said we were going to make LA the cleanest, greenest big city in America, those weren't just words. We have kept the promise, if you will, fulfilled the promise of that dream. The fact is, uh, we have a White House and an EPA that is responsive to cities again, uh, that is protecting the environment, uh, that is addressing uh, the partnerships uh, to protect that environment that's so important. I'm here to thank the EPA to acknowledge this very, very important decision. The dream of the Olmstead brothers can be a reality where we truly have in the middle uh, of a, an urban area uh, a emerald necklace of parks and open space. It's not just about preserving for the future. Uh, it's also about protecting for the now.